On the prowl, are we, Mary? I might be, Mr. Lynch. Pardon me? Mr. Leach, sorry. Uh, I've had a tad to drink. I'll do any formalities. I'm feeling high as a kite tonight, my dear. I'd have you say my name, please. Of course, James. Anything for you. Mary, you are a riot tonight. If only you'd had this much vigour when we found ourselves in that dratted blue bottle den. I made quite the scoundrel, didn't I? That you did, Mr. Hershaw. Your performance had me near weak at the knees. Were you even paying attention to that masterful charade? Go home, silly girl. You're bringing down my mood. Is that my angel? Who else is it going to be, you silly old sod? I tried, Miss Kelly. Are you all right? You're dripping wet. I see him in my dreams. Only place I still do. Ah. Uh, you mean your captain? Tell my boy, I'll set your wages. <laughs> Last I never seen him. Took everything I held dear. <sighs> There's some rotten folk out there, Tom. I'm sorry. I'll have what's old, Mary. I will can deny my rights. Me not no slave to no man. Careful, Tom. You'll do yourself a world of damage. They keep taking from me, Miss Kelly. They shan't take no more. They won't. You just calm yourself now. Why? Tom, your ring is gone. Aye. So it is. You were gone some time ago. Oh, can you remember where you had it last? Me can recall. It was the first thing he bought. First thing that was his. <laughs> I have to find it. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for it. It'll be around you somewhere. You look tired, old oh boy. How about you sleep? Ain't nothing to be done now. That's it. You rest now. All will be better in the morning. Look at me! I've got the night off! What can I do for you, Mary? Oh, ain't it funny you should ask, Mr. Watson? Say that again. Have you had a drink? Oh, I'm feeling a bit light-headed, Mr. Waldron. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'll be happy to entertain you a little while. George will be on tonight. He won't mind if we pop in for a pint. Shall we go get your favourite?
the jammy girl. Oh, of course. Yeah, you've been drinking elsewhere, I can tell. No such pint exists, you silly girl. Off with it now. I've better things to do. I ain't done nothing. You said that the last time. Well, it ain't nothing you can prove. What keeps you out so late, Master Bennett? I'll have you lobby, Mr Bennett, now, thanking you very much. Oh, my apologies, Mr Man. I hadn't known you'd been promoted. I promoted myself. Oh, of course you did. That's all well and good, but it don't go explaining your tardiness. Now I was the man of the house, I've got errands to run. Can't help it if I ain't got time for chit-chat. Oh, is that so? It is so. Well, little man, don't let me stop you. All the one hair you got growing on your chest. <laughs> I'll have you know it's two eggs. I counted them this morning. Here, would you and your two chest hairs like a job? I'm listening. There's a lad on Commercial Street, a muffin man. Do you know him? I do. He's ever so kind. Well, he's an Hopkins boy. I happen to know that his pa is looking for a lad to work for him. A baker? <laughs> Buns are better than mud and shit, don't you think? You want me to put in a good word? Oh, yes, Miss Mary. Bless you! <laughs> Esther, what are you doing out here so late, love? Does your mum know where you are? No, she's with a new bloke. Thought I'd go out for a bit. Are you all right? Buster took my orange money. Well, I'll take Mr Parker's tempers over what's lurking on these streets. Don't worry, Mary. I'm prepared for any carry-on. What do you mean? I got a knife, don't I? Anyone wants to shiv me, I'll shiv them first. Esther, you can't carry that. It's not safe. Safer with it than without. Please, go home, love. I know your face, and I yours, the kind girl from Lemon Street. Likewise, what but brings you out? A few loose ends. Oh, how mysterious. Us bunters must rely on a little intrigue, miss. The old haggams are often left as dregs. Don't speak so unkindly. On Hanbury Street, there's a place you can go. They give you a bed to sleep and all. If I am to bed down tonight, there is always tomorrow and the day after and those after that. What then, dear? What then? We must take the days as they come. He had a fellow come to our lodgings, Mum, Miss. Come to help, he had. Reform is what he said. We're all up to no good. No one cares what b becomes of us. That ain't true now, please. You give yourself the horrors. With him about, we are not safe here. P -p Perhaps some of us will be killed next. There ain't been a peep from him for a long while. We're safe. It's of no use. No choice, do we? There's nothing to be done. Goodbye, mate.
don't I know you, miss? Evening, Magdalene. How's business treating you? Hmm. I'll leave that to the imagination, Master Grant. Ah, reckless indeed, Mary. I wouldn't allow me such freedom. Hmm. I'm sure your men don't mind. Ah, while we're on the topic, who's this gentleman I hear you've been entertaining? Foreign, so I'm told. Handsome, too. A little above your class. Is he not? A swindler and a cheat is what he is, so you're well suited. Shall I give you an introduction to him? Oh, do! What a frolic that would be. Wealthy, handsome, and exciting. Why, my heart's all a flutter. Oh, men are all the same, bloody fickle in their tastes. Mm, quite unlike our murderous friend, wouldn't you say? His tastes seem rather particular. Alexander... Though I've heard he often fails to pay. <laughs> Don't be upset, Kelly. He only chips the old ones. You'll do splendidly. You're a sight for sore eyes. So I'm tired by the look of things. It's about time you got yourself home, innit? What does it look like I'm doing? I ain't in any hurry. That boy found work yet? Oh, Mary, don't be like that. How else do you want me to be? He's doing the best he can, Mary. Honest, he's just fallen on hard times. I know. Ain't we all? We do the best we can when we can. You know that. Oh, and you we have her. The cleverest girl in the whole of Whitechapel. Well, if the world saw as much sense as you, Kitty Whitlock, we'd be on the moon by now. <laughs> Get away with you, Mary Kelly. I won't be having none of this nonsense talk. Stay safe, Kitty. Good night. Excuse me, miss. Yes, sir? I'm, uh, willing to look the other way, if you'd help me out with a, uh, little problem of mine. Hmm. Oh, I can help you with your little problem, sir. But it'll cost you. Heavens no, miss. Nothing like that. I'm working on a song, see? And I'm in need of another pair of ears. Oh. Why not? Go on, then. <clears throat> Don't wake a lady in the night, yes indeed. She'll grab a pan and hunt you in the dark. Don't wake a lady in the night, yes indeed. What then? Why are you waking a woman in the night? That ain't very nice. It's the song, miss. It's supposed to be funny. No matter, I'll think of something, I'm sure. Sorry to be of no help, sir. Thank you for your time, anyway. Good night, now. You know, I've even considered the circus. When I know no one is looking, I juggle whatever I can find down here to practice. Oh. 
couldn't quite get to her heart. As it so happens, a fine lady like Agnes needs more than a crumpet. Didn't I tell you to get lost? I'll do what you like. Hey, hey, this. Ain't she the most delectable thing you ever did see? I ain't gonna pull my wows out to the likes of you. <laughs> Oi, Mary, sling your rock. You show me up. <clears throat> I said no. Curva. These ones are suitably sloshed. <laughs> Just how I like them. Phew! You've come to make a fuss of him, you'll be sorry to know he's at home with a missus. The oh, sod knows which side his bread's buttered. She still talks about you. I'll tell her you're busy. Maybe she suspects. I don't know. I have regrets, Mary. It were wrong of me to take advantage of your situation. But you could have said no. Leave a man to his drink, would you? I think I could quite happily fall to that heaving bosom and... <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. Yes. Yes. Oh, not again. I'll see her again. I will. 
little girl, my little angel, so, so quiet. Remember not to plant them too deep, or they just won't grow. My offer still stands. Ah, fine. Oh, need out with the rent after all, do we? Mm, what do you think? I think you've wanted this for a long time. Shove off. Very nice. I'm doing your turn. How much? Four pence. You want to have a word with your landlord? He's playing you for a fool. Let me know if you need any more help, Mary. Plenty more where that came from. You dropped it. Oh, blimey tart. Thank you, dear. Miss, whatever's wrong? It's you. Have we met, love? You're next. You're going to die. What in heaven's name are you talking about? It's the truth. You have to believe me. Say another word and I swear I'll stick one on you. You mad bitch. Constable? Constable, a moment, please. Miss? I have information about the murders. That's so. Please. Inspector Abeline knows me. He said if I have any information, I should tell him right away. If someone dies and you did nothing, what would the inspector say then? <sighs> On your head be it. Miss Smith, I'm told you are eager to see me. I hope it is not to lead us to the doorstep of another innocent man. Kaiser was your man. 
Wouldn't have found him at all if it weren't for me. I take it you've come here with a purpose, other than to antagonize me. I saw her this evening. His next victim. Does this victim have a name, by any chance? She weren't in the mood to give it, sir. But I'd recognize her again. She had on a black bonnet, and her dress had flowers on it. Flowers? White lilies, they were. How lovely. That ain't all. The letters I see were on her arm. And do you know how many women there are walking those streets with flowers on their dresses? And these letters, what are they? Initials? I don't know. But it's her, Inspector. I swear it is. There's only one plausible explanation for all of this. You know who the killer is, don't you? No, I don't. Then how do you know who is next to fall under his knife? I touched her, and I saw it. Miss... Please tell me you are not for one minute suggesting you came to this knowledge through supernatural means. Sir, I don't want to believe it either. But it's true. Is it now? It's a gift some people have. They can see what's going to happen. Like Madame Eve. We're finished here, young lady. You shouldn't be ashamed, sir. I said we're finished. I don't know what you think you've seen, but you're wrong. Dear boss, I keep on hearing the police have caught me, but they won't fix me just yet. <gasps> Is this from him? You're a clever woman. More than most in your situation. Whatever it is you're up to, I suggest you stop. Are we understood? Miss Kelly is here to see you, Mum. Oh, if you have come for another reading, think again. Lady Randolph and I are dining at the Criterion. Oh, to hell with that. There's going to be another killing. I've seen it. Did you hear me? I did. I haven't the faintest idea what you expect me to do. Oh, sound like you care. Women have always died in the streets. They always will. Please. The police don't believe me. I've got nowhere else to go. <sighs> yes, well, Inspector Abilene only sees reason. His mind will not be changed. Then we must try something else. Oh, I think it's best you know that we are not alike. There is no question you possess a prophetic talent. I, on the other hand, do not. You're lying. Oh, I do not confess I'm a sham to just anyone. You should be honoured. Everything you told me about Paisa, where I'd find his address. One of Madeline's girls came to see me. She'd spoken about Paisa before. When you said you used to work there, I couldn't believe my luck. The cards. There's not a hope in hell you'd know what I was going to pick. You could have plucked any from the deck. I would have said the same thing. You knew my name! Have you any idea how many women in London are called Mary? Elizabeth was next, then Sally. But my husband... How... There are subtleties, undetectable to most, but not to me. You all say so much without even realizing it. Contracted pupils, clenched jaw. Ah, oh, you are angry. I wonder why. In our first meeting, when I said others, you reacted by hiding your hand, the hand of your ring finger, the hand that reminds you of death. But why the guilt? Do you blame yourself? Yes, of course you. Stop! Please. 
Hmm, now I know of two people. Well, one's not strictly a person, but they'd be much more interested in this than I could ever hope to be. Mr. Jenkins? Hmm, you do know that's not his name. Well, whatever the bloody hell he calls himself, the man's a menace. He mentioned things have been fraught. He mentioned sending his bloody hound to follow me. The damn beast won't leave me alone. I have to drive it away with rocks. Ah, oh, how grand you talking animals are a surprise. Thank yourself, Lucky, it wasn't a snake. You don't believe him, do you? Of course I do, stupid girl. But he says he's Lancelot. That'll make him hundreds of years old. 1,291, actually. <laughs> That's nothing. How did you do? This doesn't need to be long. I'm immortal. I hate that word. I don't know anyone who uses it. But there we are. Lance and Faye are the same. Before you ask, we are not Varney the Vampire. He and his kind can be killed. We cannot. There's more than just the three of us as well. Most probably dozens, each with their own particular gift, like yours. The only difference is you shall die like everyone else. Now, dinner beckons with far more interesting company than yourself. What do they want with me? Have you not been listening? Dinner interesting, you boring. I'll sit here until you return, then. Oh, try the docks. I believe Lance had about this evening. While you're at it, you can return his journal. He left it here last night. Please do not be here when I get back. I have a knife.